Coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, foremost among the poor and humble, to be the mother of the Savior, grant, we pray, that following her example, we may offer you the homage of sincere faith and place in you all our hope of salvation. 
Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God called to Adam and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and ears. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. To the woman, he said, I will intensify the pangs of your childbearing. In pain shall you bring forth children, yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the man he said, because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, cursed be the ground of your youth, in toil shall you eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and trestle shall it bring forth to you as you eat the plants of the yield. By sweat of your face shall get the bread to eat until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt and dirt you shall return. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. For the man and his wife, the Lord God made leather garments with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing what is good and what is evil. Therefore, he must not be allowed to put out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life also, and thus eat of it and live forever. The Lord God therefore banished him from the garden of Eden to till the ground from which he has been taken. When he expelled the man, he settled him east of the garden of Eden and he stationed the cherubim and the fiery revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In those days, when there again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way and some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered him, where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, how many loaves do you have? They replied, seven. He ordered the crowds to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had a few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up the fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmanutha.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed weekend to us. I would like to talk something about the first reading today, precisely because this Gospel reading will be repeated many times over during the week, uh, during the year. But the first reading somehow only is repeated twice, uh, every twice a year. And don't you know that while the reading was done, I was straight, actually focused on the painting. No? There is the, the image there, Munang Abuhi Kayo ang first reading while it was read. Kay Claro Kay Nako Dito. And I was all actually imagining, no? You have there the God the Father, you have the man, you have the woman and the serpent. And what is interesting there is something to do with the finger pointing, which actually took place when God asked the man, then he pointed to the woman, and the woman pointed to the snake. But the problem with the snake there, what nay labot ng lion, ha? The snake had nothing, had nobody to point his finger. Of course, the snake had no fingers after all. But what was actually the story there? After deceiving the woman, the devil came out of the snake. No? Because the devil entered the snake, actually. So that's the idea. So we are now left with that image of finger pointing. And that's what happening, that's what is happening in our lives. No? Dali rakayuta mo mo point of finger. O say apil pa mangani atung simud, no? No? Because that is the human tendency. That is part of the tainted humanity that we have because of disobedience. Actually, scholars even uh, identify or recognize the sin that Adam and Eve committed as hubris. No, it is not just plainly, uh, it's not just plainly disobedience, but it's actually with a sense of pride. Because the devil's pride, who actually got man on his side at that moment, wanted to be a re to be to be a rebel to rebel against God because he himself was frustrated to become like God and remember the story the background story of this no remember that satan or the devil used to be the one who carried or who was the the bringer of the primordial light that that, that God first created that's why his name is light bearer or lucifer Oh, that is the meaning of Lucifer, light bearer. But since everything came to his head, he wanted to become like God, he was punished, and the answer to his quest to become like God was a question. And what was the question? Who is like God? And in Hebrew, it is Mikael. That's why Michael and Lucifer or Satan are always the ones at war. And they keep on uh, fighting and def Michael defending humanity because the devil's intention is always to bring all of us to his side. Yet he was successful already. And the result of the disobedience is what we have heard in today's first reading. The curses. The snake was cursed, the woman was cursed, the man was cursed as well. But beautifully presented in the narrative is the underlying good news in the curses. Sometimes we call this a blessing in disguise. Because the curse that was given to the, to the soil that man had to toil also would become the source of our life, our living. The woman who was cursed, who was cursed to, be, to have the pangs of birth also becomes a source of blessing. Because that is the the manner and the way that we actually get, that humanity can propagate and provide members of the kingdom, members of the church. And in fact, the mystery of the incarnation is seen from that very context. In fact, today is Saturday. The Blessed Virgin Mary is always seen or is always read within that context of the woman striking the head of the serpent. Okay? She is always prefigured as the source of hope and blessing a blessing in disguise taken from that curse. And of course, the animal. Now, there is always something to do with the animal side because it's not that we are always at odds or against each other. 
We are also, by the way, reminded that we are given the, the, the care and the charge of, the, of creation, stewardship. So caring for all the creatures of God is part of that curse, of that blessing in disguise. Because man, woman, and animals have to work hand in hand. And take note, finally, that man, humanity, and animals were created on the same day, the sixth day. And so as we continue reflecting and continuously understanding and imbibing this very beautiful message within the context of the Eucharist, which is the very gospel itself that we have read today, we continue to ask the Lord for more strength to be able to identify his presence in our lives and hopefully stop finger pointing at each other because it had already ended when our Lord Jesus Christ took everything upon himself and gave his life for our salvation. Amen. In the miracle of the feeding of 4,000 people, our Lord shows us that the Father will give us everything we need. Let us now ask him for all the gifts he can provide us as we say, Lord, overflow us with your love. Lord, overflow us with your love. That our pastors, especially the Pope and the bishops, may continue to nourish us with sound teachings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, overflow us with your love. That those who work to combat famine may be successful in their effort to feed millions of starving people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, overflow us with your love. That those who hunger for Christ may find the one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, overflow us with your love. That the sick and the handicapped may find care, support, and consolation from family members. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, overflow us with your love. That the, that the faithful departed may come to the eternal feast and God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, overflow us with your love. Almighty Father, you have given us the bread from heaven as food for our pilgrim journey. Guide our steps in the way of justice and peace. We make this our prayer to the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Lord, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his world. Receive, O Lord, the offerings of our devotion, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, through the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant bishop, all bishops and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may Mary to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am Lord, not worthy that you should enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Grant to your church, O Lord, that strengthened by the power of this sacrament, she may eagerly walk in the pathways of the gospel until she reaches the blessed vision of peace, which the Virgin Mary, your lowly handmaid, already enjoys eternally in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Sancta Dei Genitrix. O Nicnipis Amor Provisionibus Christi. O Remus, Omnipotens and Peterni Deus, qui gloriose Virgilis Matris Marie Corpus et Animam, ut dinium filitu i habitaculum efe semere reto spiritu sancto operanti preparasti. Da ut cuius commemorazione letamur, Eius veant et sessione ab instantibus malis, et a morte perpetuale beremur, per iundem Christum Dominum Nostrum. Amen. Divinum auxilio maniat semper nobisco. Amen. Oratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Give them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted that may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. 
O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Amen. Señor Santo Nino, Have mercy on us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, Pray for us. Our Lady Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines 